welcome back my transformation peeps so I'm up I'm dressed as you can see and I'm going to throw a little bit of makeup on just daytime makeup nothing too like wow I'm going out you know nothing like that at all so it's just to hide a little bit of the 12 o'clock that you get or 11 o'clock or however they uh, whatever they say I don't know um, so yeah, right, so I'll show you some of the products that I use and how I apply them. So first of all, just want to get rid of any excess that you may have missed. Um, I've already stripped one's makeup, but micellar water, cotton pads. Uh, let's go over, make sure you get the middle of your eye, work out into your eye, if you've got any um, mascara on or eyeliner you want to get that off um, and we're just getting rid of all the um, makeup you might have missed crease of the nose you know I'm, I don't want to teach anyone to suck eggs that's not that's not what it's about I'm just going through what I do uh, and why I do it you know, I've already done it once this morning, but I've obviously missed a bit. So do it twice. If in doubt, twice. Right. Oh, completely missed the bin. Um, right, and now what I do, oh, let me recenter my camera, there we go, is moisturise. So give me one second. Right, now I use two different products. Uh, I use Jergens because it's really good. Um, it's got excellent uh, vitamins. It's really, really, really moisturizable. <laughs> I know I've just made that up, but it sounded really good. Uh, no, it's got e excellent uh, moisturizing capabilities. Now, I normally use the firm, uh, but I can't find it, but I did get the Ultra Healing, which has got, uh, which is for extra dry, uh, extra dry skin moisturizer, and it's got vitamins C, E, and B5. Uh, and I use Age Defying one, which is A, E, and C, which is a multivitamin moisturizer. So you're thinking, okay, but which one do I use, and when do I use it? So a squirt of both, a squirt of both. That's it. Rub it in your hands. Cross the forehead from the middle of the eyes, work it out down and around your face, down your nose, cross your top lip. Well, I kind of work from the middle out. Um, you know, each to their own. Everyone has got their own way of doing things. Uh, I just find for me this works. Um, on my neck as well, cross my chest. Back of my hands. Now, being transgender, a tell is hands. You know, and voice. And unfortunately, I've got kind of more of a masculine voice than a feminine voice. I kind of soften it up. And, you know, that's kind of how I do normally talk. But I'm in a bathroom. It's echoey as hell. It seems to be picking up the bass in my voice. It's so bad. So, I'm like, Psh go with it whatever um, I don't think I've got anything more male left in me uh, to be honest <laughs> clearly <laughs> so I'm working that moisturizer in and I'm like I say I'm going from the inside out um, not rocket science. Um, and once you've done that, I give me face five minutes just to let anything else of the door. So this is when I brush my teeth. When I say I'm giving you my day-to-day -day routine, I am literally giving you my whole day-to-day -day routine. Um, so, bear with me peeps, it's the teeth brushing time.
<laughs> Just in case you're wondering, I'm using a Sensodyne. <laughs> Multi care. And just a crappy toothbrush. So I didn't want to bring the electric one because it was going to take up weight in my suitcase. Pretty much. Healthy teeth and healthy gums is the way forward, peeps. Huzzah! Done! Um, one of my little towels. It's one of my big towels. So, now I've done that, the moist, that'll give the moisturiser a little bit of time to uh, to settle in. Um, and that's done a lovely job. So, I need to re-glue the front of my lace. Uh, but I'll do that in a bit after me. I'm not really going anywhere, that's the, that's the thing. So, oh, face is a bit tender. So what I'm gonna do, uh, we're just gonna put a bit of eyeliner on the bottom, uh, bottom of my eyes, although like, my bottom lashes seem to be really like, vibrantly pinging out at the moment. So I don't know if I'm gonna bother. Hmm. Yeah, I've got a little bit on. Um, so I'm using a MAC uh, eyeliner. Give it a little, just wet the tip uh, uh, a little bit at first. And it's just easier to go on, you can kind of get them on in one one stroke and you're not like, you know, colouring in the bottom of your face, at uh, the bottom of your eye, sorry. Um, and I'm just going to, I like to go on the waterline, very lightly, just to give a little bit of colour to the bottom lid. Nothing too major, nothing too heavy. It is daytime after all. Well, do see the difference? Probably not. Um, I don't know. I can't see the difference because I'm looking in a screen like this big. Uh, so, I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, try not to poke yourself in the eye either because it really hurts. Um, So that's the jump, just a little bit, like I say, just to give a little bit of shape to your eyes, um, or, or more, a more of a noticeable shape to your eyes. Um, now, what am I going to put a shadow on? Uh, I'm not really going anywhere today. Um, so, no, I'm not. I'm not going to put any eyeshadow on. Uh, but what I am going to do is grab my concealer um when i can find it i found it there it is now i use two different concealers but today it's not too bad because I, I, I hate having that blue kind of shadow you know that shaving shadow on your top lip i'm not going to put any um primer on or anything i'm just going to go in for the kill with a concealer under the eyes, I get a little bit of red patchy patchy here and here when I've had a shave um, and on my neck there. So I'm pretty much just going under the eyes, on the I don't know how much you can see because I'm looking into a tiny little screen so it's, it's very very difficult to, uh, uh, to see what's going on. Um, now, I've got two different types, I use two different types of sponge. Uh, I've got, my brushes are all Real Techniques. I don't agree with any other manufacturer of brushes. Real Techniques do the job for me and most professionals. So, um, you know, go with the pro. Simple as that. Um, and that's what I did. 
spoke to loads of professionals, um, was advised to get Real Technique brushes. You know, there are other good brushes out there, but for me, Real Technique works. Now, Beauty Blender. Uh, I think I got this one from Boots. I'm not too sure. Not too sure. I've got Real Techniques Beauty Blenders. I've got cheaper pound shop ones. And the best one I've got is this one. And I think it came from Poundland. And it is just amazing. It is really, really good. Uh, but I'm going to use the flat disc one. Uh, I normally fold them in half um, and just use the, the, t the top edge. And I'm just going to push. I'm not wiping, I'm pushing that uh, concealer into my skin. I'm going to show you a little trick as well for getting rid of bags under your eyes. Um, so you know you just want to blend it about you don't want to do too much especially on the top lip because you want that colour there uh, I'm going to obviously put a little bit of foundation on so I'm really almost just getting rid of the uh, the, the lines that I've drawn on my face. Got to keep my eye on the clock because at uh, half eight I have my dination, which I'm going to take you along to. I hate it. I hate it. It's horrible, 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 horrible. But I'm going to take you along anyway because, like I said, I'm in much better frame of mind today, and I, I want you guys to come along and. Um, you know, I think you can probably understand a little bit of why I've not been uh, been on recently. Uh, right, foundation. I use East Sonoma. This is a BD45 colour because that matches my skin tone beautifully. Oh, There's a little bit of blood on your face because you just can't. Ah, oh, oh, bugger it. Um, <laughs> so to, I might go and get my nails done today because there's just a place just over the road. So I might do that. You can come with me on that. Um, so, East Sarabon, uh it's the BD45, it's full coverage, um, and it's really, really good. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't give me that, that dewy look, and I'm not too keen on that dewy look. I'm a little bit more of a matty kind of, matty girl. Um, oh, I need to glue the side of my wig back on. I hate, hate this wig. Hate it. I love it, but I hate it. The maintenance is ridiculous. So I'm going to see what I can do today and get some money sorted out and see if I can get some extensions put in. Um, so with this foundation, you literally use it so sparingly, it's unreal. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. So you don't need to use it really heavily. Um, I use the, the bottom, the big end of my beauty blender and I'm just literally getting it all over. Don't forget, don't forget those creases in the side of your nose because that's the first place people are going to look if you haven't got it there. <laughs> so, like literally just one pump of this and I've pretty much done my whole face. Oh, I forgot to show you my little trick. Oh, bugger. That's all right. I'll, like I said, I'm not going anywhere special today. I can do, I'll do it now. So, to get rid of... Uh, I'm going to use one of my eye brushes. Because I just... Oh, no. I brush. I don't want any. Right. Uh, to get rid... Ah, uh, use a foundation brush. To get rid of your bags, right? What you want... Is just... A little bit of pink. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Trust me, this works. So I'm using a Revolution blush palette here, um, and I've gone with that pink up in top corner. Uh, I, know, I normally, when I'm doing my cheekbones, I normally use a mixture of all three, uh, and then I might use the. There's a shimmer one if I'm 
uh, going out or or some or what whatever. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of pink, little bit of pink in your life. Please find a brush so that so that she's cleaned. <laughs> I don't normally have to do this to be honest, but there you go. Just a little bit of pink and it works. Right, that comes to the foundation. So, uh, I've applied my foundation with my beauty sponge. Uh, now I'm going to use a brush. Now, my view on this is each to their own, but I always like to, and my OCD kicks in, and I always like to make sure that I've got that I've blended <laughs> well enough. Um, so, and I'm just very lightly, very, very lightly going over my face just to get rid of any lines that I may have. I've missed a bit of foundation up there, but, which means I've probably missed that side. Yeah. So it's, it's relatively easy when you've got, you know, got used to it. Now, foundation done, looking a little bit, little bit better. Um, what I'm going to do now is I have, and this is all I'm going to do today. So it's very, very, oh God, I've got eyelashes everywhere. I know, these are really nice ones. Oh, that's okay. I, I have a contact for lashes. Yes, Rachel, I'm coming for you. <laughs> uh, just, just while I'm here, we're gonna, we're gonna just do a little bit of a promo for a very good, good, wonderful friend of mine. Um, her, her name is Rachel, and she is Raw Lashes, ladies and gentlemen. Raw Lashes. Look her up on Facebook. Her products are absolutely amazing. Um, I've got some right here. Boom, look at those. Boom, look at those. And these are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, they're a little bit, oh, they're a little bit tricky to get on, but that was my doing because um, most lashes that I've normally got, they're not as good a quality to be honest. So when you put them on, you can manipulate them very easy. Get your eye shape on the lash before you apply your glue. Otherwise it's pinging off on one end because they're really, really good quality. So make sure you've got it as good as it's going to get to the curve, uh, the, the, uh, the con con convex, no, Concave or convex? One of them's in, one of them. Concave's in, convex is out in it. So as you're looking at the lash, make sure it's convex to the to your eye. If I've got that, I may have got that wrong. <laughs> uh, with me convex and me concave. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Make sure you get the, I'm just trying to show off with, with literature. Make sure you get the curvature of your eye spot on before you, before you, before you chuck it on. Um, but they're so easy to apply. All I use is the back end of a blue brush and just tap them on. But once they're on, they didn't move. They didn't move at all. Um, there are other glues available. I use this one. Uh, I think I bought it off um, eBay, something like that. Um, it's just really good. Really, really good. It's better than the ones that you get in the pack. Ooh. Sorry, I'm so sore. Everything's just kicking in now because I'm up and I'm moving about. And, ooh, very painful, very painful. Not looking forward to dilation like that. Not gonna lie. Um, right, so what's next? Yes. So all I'm going to do now is... Uh, oh, yeah. in, in the event that you wear wigs and you... You know, you have to go through the laborious procedure of maintaining them. Oh, God, I can't wait to 
get some extensions put in, honestly. Uh, so I'm just going to... I use this glue, uh, which was advised by my hair guru, uh, James, um, of Black, Blackpool... If you, I think it's Blackpool Piercings. Uh, he also did my belly button piercing as well. Um, didn't feel it, like really didn't feel it. He's like a stealthy ninja. He just went, done. And he was like, right, I'm just gonna line it all up. And the sneaky bugger literally did it. And I didn't, I did not even, I swear to God, I did not even know. I was like, what are you doing it then? He's like, I've done it. I was like, you sneaky bugger, yeah. Um, it's honestly, really good. So if you want to pierce him, Go and see James. He re he's been doing it for about thirty six years or something like that. So he knows what he's talking about, and he's equally as good with hair. Um, so probably should have done this before I put the foundation on, but never mind. It's done now. How's the other side looking? That's okay. Oh, a little bit up, bit up top there. I think. Oh, God, I hate this. Bit awkward with the top because you kind of have to peel it back more to uh, um, to get the glue on. But it is what it is, peeps. It is what it is. So the last thing I'm going to do with makeup today, uh, once I can find it, ah, there we are. So I've got number seven. Uh, bronzing balls um, and that's all I'm going to use for a highlighter. I'm not going to contour, um, if I was going to contour, depending on where I'm going, what I'm doing, um, I would use uh, this which is Makeup Obsession. Um, it's a nice um, it's contouring, but I kind of use it for highlighting. Um, sorry, I'm getting me getting everything mixed up today. Um, either that, or I use this. And this is the whitest of white. But same thing. Um, make make up a session. This is just the colour down from it. So, the like fiver boots they last forever. Um, and with the white, you get a perfect like T piece. Across the eyes, down the nose, uh, lip and chin, and honestly, it, it can even accentuate your um, your cheeks with them. It's it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, but I'm going to use my bronze just to highlight my cheekbones, um, and then I'll show you what this is. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing stuff. So um, I've got a real techniques. It's a 401 brush. Uh, I think I've got two of these actually. Um, oh no, I've got a, uh, it's very similar, it's a 200, but the 401 is a, uh, um, a cutting in brush, like a detailing brush, if you will. Um, so, use a little bit of that, oh, gloomy, gloomy hair down, that's probably a wise move before I go any further. Right, not too bothered about the side bit here because I'll show you my little trick. Right, I'm just going to dab, not brush, just under the cheekbones. Remember, not going anywhere today. Um, and I like to, just because I've got a red mark here, to dab along the jawline and across the chin. Right. Now, this is just daytime makeup, no litty, no nothing. Um, now I'm going to use a 204 brush, which is, uh, they call it a buffing brush, but 
it, if you, it, you can, it's so, it's so versatile. It's so versatile. Um, and I'm just gonna go up and down. It's a little bit more aggressive than me. Um, uh, um, my foundation brush uh, or powder brush which is the RT201 um, but it just gives that little bit of definition to one's cheekbones and jawline jawline just go up and down quite aggressively and then just finish off trying to take that line out. Now, this is a foundation that adjusts to your skin tone. So it's almost like um, a clear foundation. But if you just go over your neck, it gets rid of any like red marks. And if you transgender, you know, you've been shaving. Uh, I kind of do a little bit across the top lip. If you've got any red marks, I go in between me. Uh, the work I've just done with me bronzing balls, but like I said, maybe across the foot. Oh shit! Bloody glue! Oh, bane of my miseries. Um, and just you know, like I say, it's daytime. I go across my chest. Careful if you wear in black. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> I just got my boobies out on camera. Uh, <laughs> and there we go. It's literally as easy as that. I don't want to overdo it. I'm not going out. I'm not looking glam. I, you know, it's not what I want. I feel good. I feel comfortable. Um, so my little trick is to hide them side bits of doom. We're all doomed! Um, as I can just... And I don't like using too much product, um, especially on my wig. But, <clears throat> it is what it is. Oh, where have, you, where have you come from? We can blend that in there, I think. Um, yeah, and you know, it, it's just, it, it's an easy, quick fix. <laughs> Went in my ear. Um, it's an easy, quick fix just to get ready. Um, you know, you don't want to be laboriously And there we are, done. Okay, so, oh, no, we're not. One more thing. Oh, yeah. A bit of smelly. A little bit of smelly stops you stinking. So, that's, and that is pretty much it. I f now feel fresh and clean and fresh and clean. So I'm gonna disconnect my thing from my thing. I will show you what I'm talking. I have a thing. I have a thing. Um, so yes. Let's recenter that, face track on. There we go. Uh, this is great, this camera, because, oh, so you're sitting down's a problem. Um, because it tracks you, um, it tracks your face. I mean, how cool is that? Oh, I didn't want to drop that. So yeah, I kind of it looks it it looks like I've actually got a cameraman, but I've not. It just tracks your face. How cool is that? <laughs> Keep up, cameraman. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so I'm gonna be going out for a little bit of fresh air soon because I do need some fresh air um, there's nothing worse than being cooped up 
all the time. Um, nothing worse at all. So I will. Ooh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I need to open the curtains. Let's have a look outside. This is my view. <laughs> Not a great view, to be fair. But it don't matter. Um, make the bed a little bit. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Can't move about for too too much too long because it just hurts so bad, like really really bad. Uh, I need the phone. Um, right, give me two minutes and I'll buzz you back when I'm outside. Or well, in fact, no, I'll just I'll take you down as is. Um, right, what do I need? What do I need? Okay. 